can you share with us how to go about creating a life that you don't need a vacation from? Like sure. Um, everyone's no vacation needed life is going to look different. And like in this chapter, it goes into a lot of detail about like the different zones in your life mm -hmm. and what actually adds up to your version of a no vacation needed life. You talked in that chapter, is it there that you talk about moving from a survival mode to more of a getting to a thrive? Yeah. Yeah. So that's so key. Our mm -hmm. survival mode is valid and part of getting there sometimes, right? It, it, right? It's like you have to, and there's rewards in survival mode too. You, you achieve new levels of success there too, but ultimately the no vacation needed life, life lives in thrival mode, as I like to call it, right? Made up word, mm -hmm. another made up word but thrival mode. And, you know, how do you, how do you get there? How do you get from survival mode to thrival mode? And one of the pieces here, and this goes against so much in the coaching industry is that I, I recommend that you stop striving for balance. Balance is bunk. Balance is bunk. I, in like news apps and things I look at on spirituality and mindfulness, all these, I see the articles like how to get life balance, balance, balance. Like, so there's lots of messaging out there about balance. What's wrong about balance? What's wrong with balance is it's precarious. So you might be striving and striving to get there, but then you reach it. And I mean, imagine, think of it as like a balanced beam, right? You finally get there and you then are holding your breath, you're sucking your stomach in, your toes are, you know, and you're hoping the wind doesn't blow. It's like, I did it, you know, I'm balanced. Like, ah, I got it. Um, but actually that's a state of tremendous anxiety and it's probably not gonna be what you thought it would be. Like, I finally got that balance. Now I have mm -hmm. to protect it. Now I have to ensure it stays and like keep everything perfect. And I think it just kind of feeds that perfectionism part of us. And I think the, the striving for balance is way too low a ceiling, way too low a bar to set mm -hmm. for your life. Um, so yeah, balance, balance isn't the thing to strive for. At what do all. you strive for instead? What's the, if, if balance is too low of a target, yeah. what do we go for? Yeah. That's the thing. People are like, well, I don't know what else to strive for. Balance is the thing to strive for. Right. Well, I'm recommending you strive instead for overflow, overflow, right? more than enough of the things that really create oh, that cushion for you. Know, you. That makes me think of learning to ride a bike that if if you're just like when you're looking you're like i need to balance this bike and you're just like you know it's like barely yeah. and like you're not moving and like you can't really balance it and get to a point where you're actually enjoying and moving until you actually start going forward and push people just don't worry about the balance so much go like go Right. I remember my dad it, it, it just like helped me learn to ride a bike. He's like, just go, go faster. You won't fall if you go faster. I'm like, but I'm not balanced. It wasn't exactly, but it's like, but I'm not balanced yet. All the people said I need life balance. <laughs> right. Like, go. Right. Drive. Right. Overflow. It's yeah, it's counterintuitive. I mean, yeah. it's like, wait, I, I should go faster to like get momentum going when I haven't hit balance yet. <clears throat> But that's a great metaphor for this, you know, be in momentum and strive forward towards a sense of overflow. And when I say overflow, it is a thrival mode is a space of cushioned more than enoughness so that the, when the wind blows, you are supported and prepared with an overflowing abundance of what you need to manage whatever life may throw your way. More than enough time, more than enough money, more than enough love, more than enough health, impact, generosity, freedom, joy, and if you're like me, more than enough shoes. So <laughs> what what are you hearing for yourself, for those watching? We really wanna hear, like, have you been striving for balance? Um, where, where in your life can you shift gears and, you know, it doesn't take more energy to strive for overflow. That's the other kind of secret right. than it does to strive for balance. Both take just as much energy. So you might as well strive for overflow.